This is 2OF Entertainment. The Vanishing Hitchhiker. A story as old as the automobile itself, The Vanishing Hitchhiker encapsulates the transient nature of human existence. It begins like any other tale of the road. A driver, solitary and contemplative, picks up a stranger on a desolate stretch of highway. The hitchhiker, often described as eerily quiet, is nothing more than a fleeting presence in the passenger seat. Yet, when the driver reaches their destination, they find the seat empty, the door never having opened, with only a chilling realization left behind. The passenger was never truly there. The myth, whispered in truck stops and diner booths, speaks to the impermanence of life and the unknowable secrets that travel beside us, unseen and unfelt, until they vanish without a trace. The Crying Boy Painting The Crying Boy Painting, a portrait of a sorrowful child with tears frozen on his cheeks, was mass-produced in the mid-20th century. It hung innocently in many homes until reports emerged of a peculiar phenomenon. Houses adorned with the painting were burning down, yet the painting itself remained untouched by the flames. As the myth grew, so did the fear, with people whispering that the boy's tears were not of sorrow but of a cursed spirit trapped within the canvas. The legend persists, a grim reminder that art, while seemingly benign, may carry with it the ghosts of suffering and tragedy etched permanently in oil and canvas. The Black-Eyed Children A knock at the door in the dead of night, and there they stand, children with hollow black eyes devoid of life and soul. They speak in a monotonous tone, asking to be let in, their words devoid of the innocence one would expect from children. The air grows cold, and a sense of dread fills the room as the unsuspecting host struggles to comprehend the unnatural sight before them. The legend of the black-eyed children is a modern horror, yet it draws on ancient fears of malevolent spirits and entities that disguise themselves in familiar forms to deceive and destroy. Whether they are demons, extraterrestrials, or something else entirely, no one knows. But their existence serves as a reminder that not all who knock on your door come with good intentions. The Bunny Man In the shadowed corners of Fairfax County, Virginia, the legend of the Bunny Man lurks. A tale of a man dressed in a rabbit costume, wielding an axe with which he terrorizes the innocent. The story dates back to the 1970s, when reports of a maniac attacking people near an isolated bridge began to surface. The bridge, now known as Bunny Man Bridge, became a focal point for thrill-seekers and ghost hunters alike, drawn by the promise of encountering the sinister figure. The Bunny Man's tale reflects the darker side of human nature, where madness and violence can wear the most innocuous of masks, turning a symbol of childhood innocence into one of terror. The Green Man The legend of the Green Man, or Charlie No-Face, is rooted in the tragic life of Raymond Robinson, a man disfigured by an electrical accident in the early 20th century. His horrific injuries left him without a face, forcing him to live a life of isolation. Yet, at night, he would walk along desolate roads, his skin glowing faintly in the dark. The locals, Unfamiliar with the man behind the legend, spun tales of a ghostly figure, green and ghastly, wandering the night in search of something he had lost. The story of the green man speaks to our fear of the unknown and the way in which tragedy can be twisted into something monstrous by those who do not understand it. The Ghost of Stowe Lake Golden Gate Park in San Francisco is a place of beauty by day. But as night falls, it is said to be haunted by the ghost of Stowe Lake. The story tells of a woman who, while walking with her baby in a stroller near the lake, lost sight of her child. 
only to discover the stroller had rolled into the water. In her frantic search, she herself drowned, and her spirit is now condemned to wander the lake's edge, forever seeking her lost child. Those who encounter her describe a figure in white, her face twisted in anguish. Who will approach and ask, have you seen my baby? The Slaughterhouse Canyon. In the remote recesses of Arizona lies Slaughterhouse Canyon, a place with a name as grim as its history. The legend tells of a mother and her children, abandoned by her husband, who starved in their isolated cabin. Driven mad by hunger, the mother murdered her children and, realizing the horror of her actions, descended into the canyon where she wailed until death took her. Now, on quiet nights, it is said that her cries still echo through the canyon, a mournful wail that speaks of despair and the madness that can come from isolation and deprivation. The story is a dark reflection on the extremes of human suffering and the way in which despair can lead to acts of unspeakable horror. The Curse of the Crying Boy Statue Much like its painted counterpart, the Crying Boy Statue is said to carry a curse that brings misfortune to anyone who possesses it. This statue, often found in gardens or tucked away in forgotten corners, depicts a child in sorrow, and those who have owned it report a series of tragedies befalling them. Illness, accidents, financial ruin, all tied to the presence of this seemingly harmless ornament. The myth suggests that the statue is a vessel for some tormented spirit, trapped within and lashing out at those who come too close. It is a tale that plays on the ancient belief that objects can hold the essence of the past, imbued with the power to influence the present in dark and mysterious ways. The Russian Sleep Experiment In the cold and calculated world of Soviet-era experimentation, the Russian sleep experiment stands as a terrifying myth. The story goes that Russian scientists in the 1940s conducted a sleep deprivation experiment on a group of prisoners, keeping them awake for 15 days using a gas stimulant. As the days passed, the subjects exhibited increasingly erratic behavior, eventually turning violent and descending into madness. By the time the experiment was halted, the subjects had mutilated themselves and each other in unimaginable ways. Whether fact or fiction, the tale is a chilling reminder of the potential horrors that can arise when science is divorced from morality and when the pursuit of knowledge overrides the sanctity of human life. The Elevator Game Originating from Korea, the elevator game is a ritual that, according to legend, allows one to travel to another dimension. The game requires a specific sequence of button presses in an elevator, which, if done correctly, will transport the player to a parallel world, similar yet distinctly different from our own. The final step involves encountering a woman who should not be interacted with, lest she trap you in this other realm forever. The myth is a modern manifestation of humanity's timeless fascination with the unknown and the idea that other worlds lie just beyond the veil of our reality, accessible through the most mundane of means. The Phantom Kangaroos The appearance of kangaroos in regions where they have no natural habitat is a phenomenon that has puzzled many. Sightings of these phantom kangaroos have been reported in the United States, particularly in the Midwest, where the animals are not native. Theories abound, escaped zoo animals, mass hysteria, or something more supernatural. Some believe the kangaroos are not of this world, but rather visitors from another dimension, slipping through the cracks of our reality. The myth speaks to the strangeness that can emerge in the everyday, where the natural order is subverted, leaving us to question the very fabric of the world around us. The legend of Kuchisakeona Kuchisakeona, or the slit-mouthed woman, is a terrifying figure in Japanese folklore. According to legend, she was a beautiful woman who was mutilated by her jealous husband, leaving her with a grotesque slit from ear to ear. Now a vengeful spirit, she roams the streets, wearing a surgical mask to hide her disfigurement. 
She approaches her victims and asks, Am I pretty? If the answer is yes, she removes her mask, revealing her horrific smile, and asks again. A wrong answer results in a gruesome death. The legend reflects deep-seated fears of beauty, vanity, and the consequences of violence, a story that warns of the dangers that lie in superficial judgments and unchecked rage. The Cursed Phone Number In Bulgaria, the number 0888-888-888 is said to be cursed, bringing death to anyone who owns it. All three known holders of the number met untimely and mysterious deaths, leading to the number being suspended permanently. The first died of cancer, the second was gunned down, and the third was also shot. The idea of a cursed phone number speaks to the modern anxieties surrounding technology and the unseen forces that may lurk within it. In a world where our lives are increasingly intertwined with the digital, the notion that a simple string of digits could carry a deadly curse taps into deep-rooted fears of fate and predestination, the devil's footprints. On a cold February morning in 1855, the people of Devon, England, awoke to find a series of hoof-like prints in the snow, stretching for miles across the countryside. The tracks appeared to defy logic, crossing roofs, rivers, and even walls, leading many to believe they were the work of the devil himself. The mystery of the devil's footprints remains unsolved, with explanations ranging from escaped kangaroos to atmospheric phenomena. However, the legend persists, a reminder of the unknown forces that can leave their mark on the world, unseen but not unfelt, a footprint in the snow that defies explanation. The Night Doctors In the American South, particularly among African-American communities, the Night Doctors were figures of terror. These men, sometimes real, sometimes imagined, were said to abduct people in the dead of night for medical experiments, harvesting organs, or practicing surgeries. The myth has its roots in the very real history of exploitation and medical abuse that African Americans suffered, particularly during slavery and the Jim Crow era. The night doctors are a manifestation of the deep-seated fear and distrust of the medical establishment, a ghostly reminder of a past where bodies were not always one's own and the night held dangers beyond the visible. The Choking Doberman The Choking Doberman is a tale that begins innocuously enough. A woman returns home to find her loyal dog gagging, unable to breathe. Rushing it to the vet, she leaves in a panic, only to return to a harrowing discovery. The dog had been choking on a severed human finger, which leads to the horrifying realization that a burglar who had broken into the house was hiding somewhere inside. The story plays on the fear of invasion, the idea that even in the sanctity of our homes, danger can lurk, silent and unseen. It is a myth that speaks to the vulnerability of modern life where safety is often an illusion, easily shattered by the unexpected. The Smiling Man The Smiling Man is a story of eerie, inexplicable encounters that leave a lasting impression of dread. The legend tells of a man walking home late at night when he encounters a figure at a distance, smiling and dancing in an unnatural manner. As the man continues, the smiling man follows, his grin growing wider, his dance more erratic. The encounter ends without violence, but the lingering unease remains. The smiling man embodies the fear of the unknown, the unsettling realization that not all encounters with strangers are benign, and that there are those who dwell on the fringes of sanity, driven by motives we can neither understand nor predict. The Well to Hell The Well to Hell is an urban myth rooted in the fear of what lies beneath. According to the tale, Soviet scientists drilling deep into the Earth's crust in Siberia broke through to a massive underground cavity. Upon lowering a microphone into the hole, they were horrified to hear the sounds of human wailing and suffering, leading them to believe they had drilled into hell itself. 
The myth plays on the age-old fear of what lies hidden beneath the surface. The idea that there are places on this earth untouched by light, where unimaginable horrors dwell, waiting to be unearthed by human curiosity and hubris. The Spider Bite The Spider Bite is a story that preys on our primal fear of insects and the invasive nature of their bites. The tale begins with a girl who, after being bitten by a spider, notices a small swollen bump on her face. Days later, the bump bursts, releasing hundreds of tiny spiders that crawl over her skin. The horror lies in the idea of invasion, of something foreign and unwelcome taking root within the human body. It is a story that taps into the deep-seated fear of the natural world's ability to penetrate our defenses, turning our bodies into unwilling hosts for life forms we cannot control. The Deadly Pop Rocks The Deadly Pop Rocks myth is a cautionary tale of childhood curiosity gone awry. It claims that mixing pop rocks, the fizzy popping candy with soda, can cause one's stomach to explode. The myth likely arose from the candy's unusual texture and the intense reaction when combined with carbonated drinks. Despite being thoroughly debunked, the story persists, a modern equivalent of the age-old warnings passed down from one generation to the next. It speaks to the fears surrounding food, the unknown effects of chemical reactions in the body, and the dangers of indulging in the delights of modern confectionery without understanding the consequences. The White Death The White Death is a ghostly figure whose very existence is a curse. The legend tells of a young girl who, after taking her own life, became a vengeful spirit determined to erase any trace of her existence. Those who learn of her story or speak her name are doomed to be visited by her, as she slowly and methodically destroys everything and everyone in their lives before finally claiming them. The myth is a chilling exploration of the concept of memory and the fear of being forgotten, of having one's entire existence wiped away, not just in death, but in the erasure of all that one was, leaving nothing behind. The Licked Hand The Licked Hand is a tale of misplaced trust and the horrors that can result from it. It begins with a young girl, home alone, who hears strange noises at night. To comfort herself, she lets her dog sleep under the bed, and when frightened, she reaches down to feel the reassuring lick of its tongue. In the morning, she discovers her dog dead, and written on the wall in blood are the words... Humans can lick, too. The story plays on the fear of the familiar turned dangerous. The idea that the things we rely on for comfort and safety can be easily subverted, leaving us vulnerable to unimaginable horror. The Mothman The Mothman, while known in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, has lesser-known counterparts in other regions. This creature, often described as a large winged figure with glowing red eyes, is believed to be an omen of disaster. Sightings of the Mothman typically precede tragedies, such as the collapse of the Silver Bridge in 1967. The myth speaks to the human tendency to seek meaning in chaos, to attribute supernatural causes to events that defy understanding. The Mothman is a manifestation of our fear of the unknown future a creature that embodies the dread of impending doom and the uncertainty that lies ahead. The Wendigo Psychosis Wendigo Psychosis is a condition rooted in Native American folklore, particularly among the Algonquin-speaking tribes. It describes a state in which a person becomes consumed by an insatiable desire for human flesh, believing they are transforming into a Wendigo a monstrous being driven by greed and hunger. The condition often arises in the depths of winter when food is scarce and the line between survival and morality becomes blurred. The myth serves as a grim reminder of the extremes to which humans can be pushed, where the desperate struggle for survival can lead to the ultimate taboo, cannibalism. It is a story that speaks to the darkness within, the primal instincts that lurk beneath the surface, 
waiting to emerge when civilization's veneer is stripped away. 